when we've learned a big lesson is I no longer have to make the case that times are uncertain and I no longer have to make the case that things are highly likely to change. People right. have kind of got that now. Um, <laughs> so, so where we're now struggling, where the next challenge is, is recognizing that the tools that we need are really the tools that come to us from high uncertainty situations like innovation or like mm -hmm. you know, going off and doing exploratory work. And what people don't understand is they're very reliable tools. You know, they're kind of like accounting tools, except in a different context. But you need to understand the difference. They're, they're much less uncertain. I mean, sorry, much more uncertain. They're much more about experimentation and discovery, much less about prediction and being right, much less about failure, much more about, oh, I learned something. Um, right. So it's a different discipline that you need to use, and it's a different set of incentives that you need to use. So I think our next big frontier is teaching organizations that the rules that we've inherited from a very predictable time are not going to be applicable in whatever's coming next.